So could you tell us a little bit about your new film, Tomboy? Well, it's a very simple story, uh, uh, yet kind of troubling. It's the story of a, uh, a little girl who's coming to a new neighborhood and um, she just pretends to be a boy, she says. Her name is Michael and she, she goes throughout this journey through the summer about being a boy. So, um, was it difficult to find the right actress for this part? Well, yeah, when you have such a storyline, the, 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 the greatest thing is the casting. Uh, I mean, it's always uh, uh, difficult, it's always uh, a big part of the whole pr production process, but um, uh, here you, you had to find a child who was a good actor, uh, who can really perform, and was willing to embrace such a part, uh, and who has the look, I mean, who has this androgyny, and, and that you could mistake for a boy. So um, it was, I mean, really, um, how do you say that? Um, and it was a challenge, <laughs> but uh, actually we got with really lucky. I met uh, this young girl, Zoe Heron, who got the part I met on the first day of casting, actually. So it was like, yeah, it's legendary. Uh, she came in and it was the right girl for the, for the part. Wow. I think I like coming of age stories because I think they are really, they bring very strong characters with very strong objectives. You know, it, when it's the first time you experiment something, it's really, really strong, and you have very, it's power, po really powerful storytelling. And also, I guess it's because you have to talk about what you know a little bit, just to bring fiction to it, not to tell your own little story, but to bring fiction, you have to know a little bit about what your character is going through. So, I guess as I would. You know, those, I'm a rookie, so this is my, this, those are my first films. So I like the fact that they are about, uh, they are with very young cast and about, yeah, coming of age story. Mm. So I was going to ask actually, um, you know, are there some moments that are really autobiographical? Well, yes, there are because you know when you write about childhood, you go through your own memories just to make it really not to make it nostalgic, but to make it really alive. You know what it felt like to be a child. Um, but it's not my story. I mean, I wasn't. I mean, I was kind of boyish. You could. You know, I had short hair because it was the eighties. You know, we all the little girls they had short hair at the time. Um, but I didn't pretend to be a boy, and I, I wasn't going through an ambiguous journey with identity. But uh, I felt free like that, and I didn't have to pretend to be a boy because you know it was a different time. Um, but still, yes, there are. I mean, like. The, there's a, a very important character in the film that is the little sister of the main character and the, this portrait of sisterhood that's something that's really kind of really intimate yeah so you know sometimes the other biography is not where you expect hmm. and also adults opinions are quite secondary in your film so could you tell us why yeah, well, in my first film, there were no adults at all, and this time, you know, I said, I'm not going to do that again. Um, well, I mean, there are, it's really a portrait of childhood, and I think when you're a child, sometimes you can forget that your parent exists. You can. I mean, your parents, they can forget that you exist, but you can. And she's into this lying process, and um, she, they're not in the picture, so really we're not showing them, because we are with her within her point of view. Uh, and also, I didn't want the adults to be um, characters who bring an opinion, actually. I wanted them to be characters with their you know, fragility, their absence, their... Um, I didn't want them to be the wisdom part of the film, you know, saying what's wrong, what's right. So I guess that's why they're not that present. But they are... They have, I wanted to portray the, a strong relationship with the, with the adults, uh, mostly a, a relationship of tenderness and, and how uh, friendship can rule a family. Hmm. Were there a particular moment during the shoot that struck you? I don't know, something that happened on set or...? Yeah, well, a lot of them struck me because when you work with kids, you know, they can really surprise you. Sometimes they surprise you because you think it's going to be easy and it's, it is so difficult to get them to be good, but sometimes it's just the opposite. And I mean, mostly the little sister, she's six year old, and the six year old is really, it's really hard to estimate whether she's going to be a good actress or not. And uh, I mean, she really committed to the part, and that was 
quite amazing because it's, it is so young to be, but she, she was really bright. And also, I mean, the whole performance, the whole performance of my um, my leading actress is quite amazing. I guess I mean you know, it's hard to tell it in words, but um, well, you see. <laughs> and uh, yeah, if if you had to, you know, just uh, um, say something to our audience so that they go and see the movie, what would it be? Well, this this movie's been made in such a crazy energy. I mean, it's it never happens. You know, the, the whole process took only like six months to, to to make the movie, and it, since then it's only been good surprises. I mean, it was in Berlin, and it was really well received in the festival, and then in in France it became like a really big hit at the box office, which is really crazy because it's it was such um, it's so sincere and, and and it's done like that, and it's. And so I guess yeah, I hope here it will get the same. This good energy will will go on. Um, it, I don't. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not good at with publicity, but um, um, yeah, the film speaks for itself, I guess. And just one last thing, in um, because in the context of uh, producing film at the moment, it's quite difficult and it's just not uh, getting better. So, do you believe that when films like yours mm -hmm. have uh, such a success, it's it's you know it's uh, it's good hope for independent cinema. Oh yeah. I mean the whole process of making this film and and the result of the film in the box office, this is all, it makes me really optimistic for everybody. Uh, I, because you can still, the whole process of the film, the whole idea was just this kind of u utopia. Like I woke up one day and say I'm gonna make a movie in three months. And, you know in those days where it's the crisis, where movies it's hard to make them and everything. And it can really happen if you if you, I mean, kind of witty, and you just try to do it the other way, you know, and shut the movie, in, not in this folklore, or not what you're supposed to do. And the good thing is that the audience, they can feel it. They can feel that it's kind of different, and they can feel that energy. So yeah, I'm really optimistic about things. You can, I mean, uh, I'm really optimistic about the fact that you can do the you can do it differently, and that different works, actually. I mean, it, it can make you, you can do a better movie, and the movie can do good. Uh, but you have to, you have to, yeah, you have to, how do you this? En français? Je manque de vocabulaire en terms de, you have to, yeah, you, have to, you just have to think different. You just have to make it not in the way it's supposed to be done, uh, to be free, actually. So what's next now for you? I really don't know, because this movie is still... <laughs> I mean, I'm here, you know, and then I'll be in Germany, and then I'll be in Switzerland, and in the United States, and everywhere, so... Um, I'll go back to writing, and it won't be with kids this time, so we'll see. Okay, and just sorry, one last thing I forgot to ask you earlier on. Uh, what are your influences in film? Well, there's, this is really hard to answer that question, so I always forget what are my influences. Mostly because when I'm making a movie, I'm not watching movies at all, because you're, you're too fragile and you, f you, you just feel like everybody's right but you. Um, but then, of course, when it's done, you know you have been influenced. Uh, well, on this particular film, I, I thought a lot about the Steven Spielberg's movie, uh, because it's such a good portrait of portray of childhood. Um, also thought about Greg Araki, Mysterious Skin. Um, and um, well, those are kind of yeah, influences and but I um, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>